After Terra Poison Arbalova picked up the win last week, your LA Wiggers are now 3-0. But this week, we're taking on a tough team, the Shanghai Dragons, coached by Ellie. Her first pick, Iron Valiant, is one of the best Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet, and she has strong priority in Dragonite's Extreme Speed to back it up. Her Crocodile is one of my favorite draft ground types, and Rotom Wash, Mesprit, and Meloetta can tank hits while getting in her powerful threats via Volt Switch or U-Turn. Her Muck can set up Toxic Spikes, and her Mimic can stop a lot of my setup sweepers due to its Sky's ability. She also has three Terra Captains. A Jolteon that can terrestrialize into an Ice or Fairy type. A Bastiodon that can terrestrialize into a Fighting, Fairy, Ghost, or Water type. And a Macargo that can terrestrialize into a Fairy, Water, Grass, or Steel type. Because it has such a great speed tier this week, I wanted to bring Choice Scarf or Shifu. Because Surging Strikes in close combat are really free into my opponent, with Ice Spinner to deal with Dragonite. And U-Turn to not only hit Mesprit and Meloetta for super effective damage, but also give me momentum. Because my opponent does lack Hazard Control, I am bringing Spike Overquill this week with Crunch to deal with Calm My Meloetta and Mesprit and Toxic to wear down Rotom Wash or Crocodile. I'm Eevee to take on a Swords Dance boosted Mimikyu and my special defense lets me take two Hydro Pumps from a defensive Rotom Wash. My last move Protect lets me rack up Toxic damage and also scout a Choice Scarf Crocodile. With both Dragonite and her Terra Jolteon being threats, we're bringing Eevee Light Polyswine that can set up Stealth Rock to break Multi Scale or do the same by using Icicle Spear. My special defense EVs allow me to not be too killed by a Choice Specs Terra Fairy. Jolteon and I can do massive damage with my Earthquake. And Ice Shark can allow me to pick off a weakened Crocodile. But I didn't want Crocodile's Earthquake to be free into my team, so we have Support Thunderous Incarnate next. I'm rocking the Heavy Duty Boots, that way I don't have to deal with Stealth Rock. While packing Knock Off, that way my opponent does. U-Turn not only gets me momentum, but also lets me hit Crocodile for super effective damage, and I have Defiant just in case she brings Intimidate. Thunderbolt plus Taunt allow me to weaken Rotom and stop it from Pain Splitting, as well as Pokemon like Bastiodon and Macargo. I'm Eevee to live a Choice Specs Iron Valiant's Moonblast, as well as Choice Specs Meloetta's Hyper Voice and Choice Specs Jolteon's Thunderbolt. And my HP and Defense allows me to live a Choice Span Crocodile's knockoff, a plus three Extreme Speed from Dragonite, trying to avoid a Prankster Thunder Wave, and a plus two Spirit Break from Iron Valiant. With my Special Attack letting me knock out Iron Valiant with Thunderbolt after Stealth Rock and two Ikeoing Defensive Rotom. Because Choice Specs Moonblast from Iron Valiant was looking pretty free into my team, next we have Assault Vest Metagross. With Heavy Slam plus Bullet Punch to deal with Iron Valiant as well as Mesprit. Knock Off to get rid of Heavy Duty Boots, and Psychic Fangs just to give me a means of hitting Rotom Wash. My Defense EVs allow me to live a plus one Dragonite's Earthquake as well as a Choice Ban Crocodile's Earthquake, as well as two Shadow Balls from Choice Specs Iron Valiant. Lastly, we have a Wish Protect Physically Defensive Screamtail, giving me a better check to Dragonite, Crocodile, and Iron Valiant via Dazzling Gleam, with Last Move Roar for Sub, Calm My, Meloetta, or Mesprit. So that's my team for week four of the PPL Pokemon Draft League. If you have been enjoying the LA Wakers run in the Draft League content, let me know by leaving a like and consider subscribing, as I'm on my way to half a million subs. And these battles are uploaded every Sunday. Also, definitely check out my opponent, Ellie. She is absolutely hilarious and just hit 3,000 subscribers. And of course, I want to give a big shout out to Ammo, Owen, Tone, Maverick Shooters, King, D, and Tony Flygon for all the help this week as well as Pedro for the awesome editing. I've held you up long enough, so let's get right into the battle. So here we are with my week four battle of the PPL versus Ellie. We always have fantastic games, so make sure you check her out. And also, if you enjoy the Draft League content, let me know. Consider leaving a like and consider subscribing, as I'm on my way to half a million subs, and I upload these every Sunday, and I upload competitive Pokemon every single day. I'm actually going to lead off with my overquote. I like the idea of just getting up spikes early, intimidate early as well is pretty good. Uh, otherwise, I'm a fan of Thunderous, but I'm gonna commit to Overquill on this one, uh, just because the Intimidate on the Bastiodon goes a long way. Uh, allows my Screamtail to, I'm assuming, just phase it out with everything, so we'll see. But uh, in case it just wants to get up rocks, there's no Magic Coat or anything. Uh, Jolteon could have Copycat, that is something to note, uh, something I wanna be aware of, but uh, that is the Iron Val. Okay, okay, no problem. No problem. Obviously, I throw any immediately. It could be Focus Ash. It could definitely be Focus Ash on this Val. I don't know if you calm mind up immediately. I obviously threaten you with a Bar Barrage, so I'm gonna switch out into my Metagross here because I'd be able to tank a hit. We could find out if it's Specs or not, which is something I'm scared of, but I also think it could be um, just in a nice offensive variant like Focus Ash. Like I mentioned. So, she has a scary team, despite not having any hazard control, which I won the PPL with. So, she switches. I'm assuming Bastiodon comes out. Or Crook. Winriz looks like Crook. It is not Intimidate. 
Good to know, good to know. Uh, how do I want to play here? I like the idea of bringing out my Thunderous. I think, uh, while knockoff is obviously possible and very good right now, uh, Thunderous, for the most part, tanks most hits. Also, my Surging Strike is really good here. So, I like Thunderous because Thunderous also can tank uh, a Banded Knock from this thing pretty, not easily, but it can tank a Banded Knock from this guy. So, we'll make Thunderous play. We'll also get to find out if it's Adamant, even though my calcs are always bad, but I do live in Adamant Banded Knock as well. Uh, if Crocodile wants to get up rocks, that's not too bad either. I can start going for knockoffs of my own and start getting off some damage. If she's running boot spam, better for me, no boosting items. So it goes right for gunk shot. That did absolutely nothing. So that is not choice ban. In fact, I'm not even sure that's adamant. Yeah, that did absolutely nothing. Okay, uh, knock is really free. Knock is very free. That did 172 damage, which is around the range of Adamant. I wonder if Jolly can do 172. Jolly actually cannot do 172, so that's either Adamant or it's Extra Belt, uh, which is good to know. I am going to throw off a knockoff here. Uh, it could be, I suppose it could be like Assault Vest as well, which is something that could be threatening, but I like Knock because it gets me potentially Mesprit. It gets me uh, Vow as well. Let me put Adamant or Extra Belt. Add a... Or belt. Just so I don't I forget. Gunk. There's a switch. That was a great gunk shot also. Is that Bastiodon? <laughs> oh, that's Mesprit. Beautiful. So we get a knockoff on Mesprit. Oof. Lovely damage. Lovely, lovely damage. Eject button. Ooh. Okay. No item. Which means we can U-turn on out of there. I could technically taunt, but I do want to get up Spike especially for Crook. Getting this thing weakened, like Surging Strikes, looks phenomenal into my opponent's team. So we definitely want to uh, just start kind of using that to our advantage here. If she U-turns, no big deal. I'm also thinking that Crook might just be Scarf. I think Scarf is really good into me. And it is Moxie as well. Let me put that. There's Stealth Rock. Yep. Or it could be Anger Point. <laughs> Stealth Rock. I get beautiful damage off on Mesprit. It looks like it's in range as my next attack as well. So we're gonna get up a spike here, uh, allowing me to wear down Crook. I'm assuming a U-turn might come out. Maybe she'll T-wave. If she T-waves, it's a little bit better for me just because I can go for the, um, just because I can go for a toxic following turn, as long as I don't get fully paralyzed, of course. But we wanna break sturdy. And my Dazzling Gleam looks very, very good from Screamtail, especially with an Intimidate from this, so I can tank the Heavy Slams. I want to see how much Heavy Slam from Bastiodon does. Scream to help. Bastiodon? I don't see it. Oh, that, that's Bastiodon. That's Bastiodon, baby. That's Dragonite. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, this could be choiced in some sort of way. Palace Swine is impish. It looks to be my best bet. I could see an Iron Head coming out or a Choice Band Earthquake. We want to weaken. If it is Bandit, that's actually better for us. Because then they don't take like surging strikes multiple times after rocks go up. So let's see. Dragon Knight. Where, why are we so zoomed in? Why were we? Why are we so zoomed in the palace? Can you yeah back the hell up? Thank you. So that's Hurricane, which is pretty cool. Leads to believe it might be a defensive variant. Um, low key, I do want to get up rocks. By low key, I mean high key. They should switch. Not that they have very good switch-ins anyway, but we do want to get up rocks here. <laughs> what is all these? All these nicknames are so funny. <laughs> yeah, we definitely want rocks here. Uh, I can see a future sight, energy ball, or anything like that. Dragonite's a threat, for sure. Hurricane did a good chunk. No Pokemon on our team really wants to take this hit, though, this Icicle Spear. I'm kind of thinking, because do I, do I want to go for Icicle Spear? Because I Icicle Spear does a good chunk. And I have Wish Passing, too. I also want to use my Metagross in this game very well. I don't want to, like, throw it away at any given point. That did about, like, what, 160? That looks almost max special attack investment, but I never trust my calcs. So I'm going to go for Icicle Spear. If she U-turns, that's fine. Healing Wish. I'll eat every hit. Knockoff doesn't matter too much on Pilo, I think. Obviously, having its Evil Light is nice, but I also think getting rid of uh, Mesprit, even if I'm barely doing so. Oh, oh, little crit. Two times? What is this fake damage? 
<laughs> what is this fake damage? Rocks. Knock. Mmm. Yeah, we're definitely uh, wanting to have that end game with, with our Val. I am just gonna go right for the Isaac Spear again. A defensive psychic can't actually KO me, I'm pretty sure, just because of my EV spread. And also, I mean, I'm not taking it too slow, but yeah, defensive psychic noise does max 155 psychic as well. It could be size shock. It's definitely a bold mesprit. Like, it is super bold mesprit. I'm doing literally nothing to this guy. But I, I gotta, I can put it in range of Ice Shard after it by just going for Spears. And nothing really comes in on this. Yes, uh, Jolteon becomes a threat. There's a second noise. Jolteon does become a threat. So that's smart, but I do have the Assault Vest on my Metagross, so I think I'm okay with that. I'm also kind of hoping for, you know, a little bit more than two, three, maybe like a, like a, like a, a dude. <laughs> she actually lives Ice Shard now. That's wild. She could go for Knock here. Can I get a little bit more than two or three, please? Knock might actually not KO me, though, is a thing. Knock. Yo, yeah, with, like, no item on this, homie. Nah, oh, knock does. I mean, there is a roll where Ice Shard does KO, but I don't, I don't, I don't like it as much. I don't know. Yeah. I do KO. Beautiful. Okay. Good job, Palaswine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is better for me. I get the, the momentum this turn. Hell yeah. I also have my Surging Strikes Mon in the back too, and I can click uh, Ice Move as well. Uh, Bastion, probably one of the bigger threats, but the Spike in Stealth Rock is gonna go a long way into that. Uh, Jolteon obviously just became a giant threat, but I think it was worth getting rid of Mesprit because it's one of the main pivots. And if Dragonite like, is running some odd moveset, we should be okay. So if Crocodile wants to come out, I'm gonna get my Ice Shard chip on that as well. And uh, let's see what happens from here. Mesper definitely max, yeah. Like some sort of max max. There's Jolt. Nice little Jolteon, okay. <laughs> uh, this is amazing. I'll definitely take my Ice Shard chip. I'll for sure take my Ice Shard chip. Alluring voice, that's fine. That's definitely fine. Uh, we're gonna assume Terra Fairy on this thing then. Uh, what I wanna do is knock off. I want to knock off with Metagross because knock off in a bullet punch will knock out Terra Fairy. And then it also, knock off just helps me out into the potential Dragonite and just gets rid of the hazards. And it, Bastiodon losing its item would be good too. So knock is free here for the most part. Shadow Ball is not going to do too much. We don't know if this is Specs or not, but it's also just putting itself in range of Dazzling Gleam slowly but surely. Uh, alluring voice. Alluring voice. If she tear this, then she can't tear a Bastiodon also, which is pretty good. But then that also means it loses to Urshifu, so it's weird. I don't know. Yeah, there's a Volt. Okay. 342 to 258. Hmm. 84 ain't too much to my Metagross. Jolteon. we we'll assume it's not Boots. So it's actually, is that modest? Nope, it's not. Or, or, or it's, uh, uh, what's it called, Wise Glasses. I think it has to be Wise Glasses in order to tank that hit. There's Crook that comes out, I'm okay with that. Hey, it, okay, so Crook was Boots. Getting rid of Boots is amazing. We get Chip on that. Uh, we are looking, we wanna keep this one alive, obviously. So in terms of how I wanna switch in on this, because we obviously want to keep my... Th there's no Surging Strike switching. If I go... If I go out into Thunderous here, on Crook's Knock, Crookedile does knock me out with Knock Off at that point, right? It's close, but it, it, it... It's actually not close at all. It just it just always knocks out my Thunderous with Knock Off from that point. And they are going to go for Knock here. Um, but then I can go Shifu. And then Shifu can pick it off after. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make that play. It does again leave me weaker to Bastiodon. But it kinda depends too, because she might just earthquake as well. I think knock is really good into me though. Yep, knock makes a lot of sense. Her Shifu comes out now. Uh, Ice Spinner does not actually KO. 
There's the Moxie as well, which I have to be careful about. All right, Urshifu comes out now. It's relatively safe. Oh, what are the Bastiodon Terras? I might have just thrown into Bastiodon, actually. Bastiodon has Terra, Fairy, Fire, Water, which isn't too bad because I can Toxic. It would have to be Rest. If Bastiodon's Rest, then that's a different story. Um, I am going to Surging Strikes. I actually, I can't risk Ice Spinnering here with her being Moxie. Later, when she switches out and comes back in, I can do it because it will be in range. But right now, I cannot risk not going for Surging Strikes. And I think she also has to fear me going for the Ice Spinner immediately into Dragonite, too, because Choice Ban will knock out Dragonite. So, ah, okay, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I would not have KO'd it otherwise. So, we take those. Crocodile goes down. Beautiful. All right, Crook going down is amazing. Not too much can uh, force out my, not too much can force out my Quill. Uh, we can get off the Intimidate with Quill on Bastiodon, and then we can roar it out with Screamtail. That's like my, my plan there anyway. Next is that wave, this is the <laughs> Yeah, so we get some asses up on, which is nice. Again, we're gonna assume this is some sort of Iron Defense set. Does Bastiodon have, it's soundproof and, and, and sturdy, isn't it, abilities? Bastiodon? Yeah, soundproof and sturdy, which means you get off the Intimidate. Perfect. There's a Terra. What Terra are you, buddy? What Terra are you, water? I'm assuming you're water. It is water. We're gonna assume water. So with that Intimidate off, there's a Cursed Bastiodon. Ooh, okay. Okay, I see you, I see you. What item are you running? Are you lefties? It's Chesto Resto. Oh, God. Okay, um, we actually have to roar it out. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> it being Chesto Resto is really bad. I'm assuming Chesto Resto or Citrus, but Curse is crazy. Yeah, so I definitely should not have given up my Thunders. What I should have done was went Overquill into Thundee. Or even Overquill into Shifu, I think. Would have been better. Bastiodon is a problem. Anyway, we definitely go you. How much does Heavy Slam do? There's Body Press, beautiful. Again, we gotta be really, really, really careful. Uh, the Bastiodon's Heavy Slam actually is not It's not that, it's not that bad. It is bad. I obviously could threaten it with Encore though. They do go for Heavy Slam. Oh, it's not that bad. That's not that bad. Let's get that throw out of there. Wait, I'm so dumb. It is soundproof. I'm so dumb. Oh my God. I just talked about it being soundproof and I went for Roar. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? I just talked about it being soundproof and I went for Roar. Holy crap. I'm so bad. I, I'm really bad here. I should have toxic it. I should have toxic it. We get up in another intimidate though, so we, we'll be okay. But I'm so bad for doing this. I'm actually about to get swept by a bastard because of my my stupidity. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, curse is fine. Um, curse, heavy slam, slam, press. I, I, again, I'm gonna assume that this mon definitely has the uh, the resto chesto. I'm gonna pray it doesn't though. I'm really gonna pray it doesn't. I'm dumb. I'm very stupid. Like, adva like advanced type of stupid. But we'll see if we can come back from this. That doesn't do that much at all. That's a nice little, that's a nice little crit. I'm kind of at the point where, I, I mean, I, I kind of have to go into uh, Screamtail and just wish protect a little bit. Again, if it's Resto Chesto, it's Resto Chesto. I can't stop that. Like, that's why I need to keep Thunderous alive. And yeah, they go for press. Perfect. All right, so we're going to need to press up. It is at neutral. I can actually see its attack. I can actually see its attack. I'm, I'm going to pray it's not rest. It's definitely rest, bro. The thing is, if I had Encore too, I'd be in such a good spot. But I went Roar over it. Yeah, plus two defense. 
I'd be in such a good spot if I had Encore, but it's my fault for not having it. It really is my fault. Uh, <laughs> this Resto Chestomon I'm about to smoke me. Okay, they go for another press. That's fine. I think they thought... They, they crit me again. Can you stop that? Please? <laughs> Please don't crit my Screamtail. Thank you. I'm trying not to get smoked by you. It has to be rest, right? I'm gonna protect. Dude, I literally talked about soundproof and I tried to go for roar. I'm, in, I'm, I'm really bad. Let's see if they have that rest. Reveal it. It's roar. Oh, okay, that's not bad. That's, that's fine. That's okay. That's actually okay. Like that, that is not the end of the world. That is not the end of the world. That is okay. Oof. Oh, uh, then those, those double crits were really bad then. <laughs> yeah, those double crits were really bad. I don't die to plus two press. I'm, I don't, I do not die to plus two press. Um, damn, those double crits actually really hurt then. Huh. That's your dawn. Yeah, body press does not do a lot. I'm just gonna go for Psychic Fangzer. My best play, hits everything. Ah, no wish passing for me. Yeah, okay. I am still out of range. We killed the demon. We killed the demon. So we're looking, uh, not the best, but not the worst. You know what I mean? Like we're 50-50 we're, we're in terms of, I, I don't know if I win yet. Basically, or lose. That's where we're at right now. Jolteon can come out. Jolteon does not KO me. If Dragonite comes out, I go for Knock. For sure. If Val comes out, that is Dragonite. Oh. You extra belt or something? Yachi? I mean, I'll go Scream Tail here. Not that like he comes in on anything else. I want to save my Bullet Punch. Also for like Scarf or Booster Energy Val, I legitimately need Bullet Punch for. Because it's still a threat. Booster Val can definitely end game. Fire Blast. Oof. Maybe it's Yachi? I don't have a choice but to go you? It could be Yachi. I, I still don't think I have a choice but to click this. I, I don't think I have a choice but to click this. So I have no idea how this end game is gonna be. Jolteon dies. Uh, Val takes a lot of damage. Val takes a ton of damage. Dragonite's so smug, look at it. It's just grinning right there. Oh, see, now I wish I wished earlier with Scream. Instead of wasting a roar. Ah, that's bad. I wonder, I really wonder what type of Dragonite this is. Is it Belt? Let me see. Shifu. Mmm. If I don't see Booster on Val, then I have a shot. I, Yachi? No Yachi. Dragonite's dead. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. No Yachi. Dragonite's dead. Surging Strikes does look good. Surging Strikes does indeed look good. It's not over. It's definitely not over. If Val comes out, I might have to stay in if I, if I see, if I see Booster. Because Metagross does live. There's Val. Do we see Booster? So, looking at Val, if it's Scarf, Ice Spinner does about 40% to Val, and then Bullet Punch does about 50. So 40 plus 50 is 90, which means I do stay in here. I go for Ice Spinner. 
Always. If it's Scarf, Shadow Ball does not kill me and I bullet punch it anyway. They double as well, predicting me to want to go out into my Metagross here to get the chip, which leads me to believe that it is uh, potentially Scarf. I don't know. I'm just going to stay in and get my chip because Metagross can always bullet punch it after. I'm always going to make this play. Not going to switch. I also think that means that she is not confident in her Iron Valiant winning endgame. And at this point, after all them hazards, I just Ice Spinner again. Woof! Confidence slowly but surely coming back. Slowly but surely. Because even if it's like Baberry Berry. I don't know. Whatever. Clean Ice Spinner. Here always. I think it's Scarf. It's not. Chip. Moonblast KOs. Uh, Babiri Berry would live, but then I Toxic. Oh, it's Life Orb. Okay, we win, for sure. Nice. Maybe she didn't have Shadow Ball. So, okay, th th that was a dub anyway, unless um, unless some sort of para, full para. I I'm not, actually, I think Bullet Punch from Metagross was enough anyway. But, yeah, uh, that was a dub anyway, just because of my priority in the back. Because I, I spin her there, and then she dies to Bullet Punch guaranteed. So, woo! This game went back and forth. I almost got put down by a Bastiodon because I'm very stupid. I literally say, hmm, that has soundproof and sturdy. Well, she has no hazard control, so he's going to run sturdy. No, but your boy was able to win. Uh, I always had BP in the back, so that's why I felt comfortable ice spinnering. Uh, great game. If she had been rest on Bastiodon, Jover. Jover. Uh, yeah, well, double crits too, so I couldn't come in. I had no idea what the Dragonite was. It not being heavy duty boots was really big in this game. So honestly, the the hidden the hidden champion of this team was Pileswine. It got up rocks and look how much they did. Obviously, Overquill did a lot too. I don't even know what Mons got kills in this game. Okay, so Shifu, KO, Crocodile, Jolteon, and Dragonite. Um, Overquill took out Bastiodon with Toxic. Pileswine KO'd Mesprit, and then Metagross won that one. That was nasty. Well. Good game to Ellie. I'm going to hit her up if she's down to do an interview. I, uh, yeah, definitely this is one of the games that's going to be all over the place. I feel like my next few games for the next month are going to be all over the place, uh, depending on how long the subathon goes. Because today, if you didn't know, is day one of my subathon, uh, and that potentially can go for the entirety of the month, which means I do a lot less mocks. I didn't have a lot of time to do a lot of mocks this, this uh, week, but uh, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe to Ellie as well. I think she either just hit 3,000 or she's like, like very close to 3,000. I think she just hit 3,000 subs. Uh, very hilarious content. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. But we'll do an interview. So here I am with Ellie, uh, who has almost uh, completely bastioned on me. Um, <laughs> how you doing, fam? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm good. How are you doing after nearly getting bastioned on? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very stupid. I, I, like, I, I literally said this has soundproof and, and what's it called? Uh, Soundproof and sturdy, and I was like, this thing doesn't have uh, uh, what's it called, Metagross's ability or Regis's ability, clear body. It's soundproof and sturdy. Goes out to Naimon and roars. Because the, the plan was to like wish up and then bring it in and then infinitely just like go from there and then wear you down with Toxic. But I just mm. kind of skipped the moves and clicked roar like an idiot. And <laughs> yeah, could have been nasty. I love I love uh, some of these texts. You want to talk a little bit about them? Yeah. So okay. So in Mox. Um, Scarf Ashifi was fucking destroying me. So I thought, you know what? If he's gonna bring Scarf Ashifu and he's not ever gonna bring it out into the end game like a pussy, um, <laughs> I'm gonna one up him and I'm gonna set up electric terrain in front of something and win with Iron Valiant. Hopefully kill Metagross somehow before that happens, but it you guys, you it guys might have. It might have. I, um, <laughs> I mean, you saw why I stayed in at the end. Ice Spinner into bullet punch was safe and if you're scarf then i win the game with metagross anyway because shadow ball doesn't mm -hmm. kill this and you kind of have to click that cc doesn't kill etc so i just felt a little bit better uh, your team is very scary i will say like it is crook is yeah. extremely annoying high horsepower makes sense because of arbalava and um yeah I, I love the roar as well like this would have been scary if you also had spikes on your squad too yeah i know i know it's just 
It's so difficult because like, what am I going to drop? Like everything on my team is like, it's good. There is value on, on every member of my team. Makago, the go. Bastiodon, the go. Is that why you didn't like, get rid of it for Sudo Udo? <laughs> yeah, like genuinely, I love Makago. Um, also, I really wanted to bring a jackpack shell smash, but fucking intimidate. Like, I knew you were gonna go over quell every time on Makago. Yeah, always. You're you're not an idiot. <laughs> so. uh, I mean, I did roar Bastidon after like well, saying out you know, loud. <laughs> you know, maybe maybe you are a bit of an idiot, but I'm just perpetually tired. Please, this is a nasty <laughs> Dragonite set, by the way. Thank you. My thought process was. Um, I can so I anticipated booster speed encore on your scream tail. So I was like, hold on, let me cook up a set that will lure you into clicking encore or potentially like, I don't know, attack me. So I was like, this will outspeed Scarf Shifu, it will outspeed booster energy, and it will just start hurricaning things. And if you T wave me, then that's fine, whatever. That gives me information. Mm. But if you proc my weakness policy, oh baby! Oh yeah, you, <laughs> you do some damage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... I, I mean, I, I told you I went and roar because. Oh, also, you were talking about we we were in a call because she was streaming to the people in Discord. Um, mm -hmm. So we were in a call, and I was. Uh, she was t commenting about my leftovers in Black Sludge. I <laughs> will say, in this particular thing, there's no point in running boots like on these mods because rocks are like they're not really too bad. So I just felt only only bad for Thunderous. So I just felt like yeah. they were better for the passive recovery. So like, had I seen Wish Dragonite, this would have been, I mean, Agility, this definitely would have been a roar moment with Paolo being gone. Like, I, I love the way your team overwhelms. I mean, I already knew it from a mock or two too, but it just overwhelms mm -hmm. Pilo. Like, you chip it down with Jolteon. I, it's potentially, it's my Mesper switching because of Thunder Wave and, you know, Crook knocks it occasionally. So, and it has to come in on Dragonite. So I like the way it, it obviously... Uh, chips and wears it down so it helps the other teammates out so i'm, I'm a mm -hmm. i'm a big fan of that um did you ever think about terra grass macargo with the flame body yes and then i saw bash it on and i was like this is just infinitely better at checking so many things on your team like it checks setup screen tell it checks um like it it checks uh, shifu um as long as you don't kill it <laughs> obviously yeah um like this mom was just so much better into the matchup and because i in mocks like i kept getting booster energy scream tailed um i was like you know what bash it on it's your time i threw you away carelessly week week one uh week two against chase and i didn't give you the love and thought that you deserved so redemption i guess no i mean i, lo I love i love the mon a lot uh did you ever think about bringing specs val into me Yes, but I just, I didn't ever want to be locked in. Like, whenever I was locked into a move, that gave you a Metagross switch in, and Metagross is, um... It's pretty good. Well, it's pretty, yeah, pretty good. I mean, that was the... Oh, you did, yeah, you had knock, so... I mean, you were clicking knock if you are was in with Valiant, and, like, swapping out, like, to catch the Mesprit. So, like, the eject button maybe was a bit of a reach. I don't know, but... Yeah, it worked in mocks. Yeah, it, just... it was cool. I like I like the positioning of it. You didn't, you don't have to go crook. Like when you went crook, obviously that hazard stuff. Like that was a tough position with crook in because. Mm. So I'm scarf and I, I didn't feel like I could cook ice spinner safely because I, you had a moxie boost and I don't kill yes. and you mm -hmm. obviously had an insane amount of HP, um, right here 164. So I was like I have to surging like if Dragonite comes in whatever what the hell, can I do, uh, into that mon, like, it's, uh -huh. just, it's just it's just a giant threat. So. Like it, um, I don't know. I I also wanted to bring Banded Metagross into you. <laughs> yeah, Cause... Banded was also really good. I I in a lot of my mocks it was weakness policy agility, um, which Bastiodon also came for because I was like I'd literally lose this Pokemon if he's screens um, with agility weakness policy Metagross. Like I I just get six would by it, which is why I am Brick Break on Crocodile mm. and not. You want to know my first. Oh, you uh, you lagged for a second. What was it? Your first what? Punch. Wait, what punch? <laughs> Sub focus punch. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know what? I don't want the drops from close combat. I'm gonna be clear amulet with sub focus. Punch. Stop it! <laughs> what does but that then do? I was like, 
but then I was like, you know what, Brick Break is just more reliable. In yeah, screens, into screens, yeah, for sure. Screens now, so. You know, honestly, like, if, if we had played like in a week or two, there mm -hmm. might this might have been screens just because during the subathon, I don't plan on, <laughs> I can't really mock, so I'll probably go, what's the easiest aggro way I can. Easiest way to yeah, win. Yeah, to yeah. try, to try for beer. Uh, but keep going, yeah. sorry to cut you off. No, it's okay. Um, I don't know, like. Wait, Ellie? Like your, your mic keeps you, you, uh, your mic keeps stopping for like a second. Oh no, no! Um, your team is annoying as hell to prep for because you have a lot of roll compression. Like Metagross can be AV to check Valiant. It can be Bandit. It can be Trick to Cripple. You know my my Bastion on whatever. You've got Screamtail that can run seventeen billion different sets. I'm on so got cool. <laughs> you've got you know hazard stacking overquill you've got av overquill that can be ev'd to swap in on my valiant like it's so annoying and one thing that i did not expect to come was thunder everything else on your team i thought would come i thought our bolero would be here over yeah Thundee. yeah uh so uh, this was like built really quickly um mm -hmm. and and there were like some people were like, you don't want to bring our ball of it. And uh, truth be told, it's very good into your team. Like, it it's, is. It's like, phenomenal. Fairy is free because even with Heavy Slam, you're not doing much. And I just I just strum sap it back. Um, mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. uh, it still lives gunk uh, too. And I, yep. I, there is the chance of me running poison as well to deal with Val and the 50-50s between Crook and stuff. And plus yeah. you have to run the weaker high horsepower. So like there's a lot of like options into it. Um, I was hoping you'd be poison if you'd bring it because then it's a lot easier to deal with. Like, yeah. like you say, Fairy is so fucking annoying which is why i was weakness policy dragonite so when i saw no our bolivar i was like oh no <laughs> <laughs> oh you but, roost and then yeah. i alluring voice and then you get the boost yeah. after that's yeah. really cool yeah yeah no, I, I like thunder uh for one crook is I, I told you like crook is not annoying in a sense i don't think it sweeps me but i can't go to my best knock resist into it you don't have an earthquake switch in yeah i'm i'm just gonna say it you you don't have an earthquake switch in. on my team on this team? On this build, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, build, yeah. I'm gonna say our Bolivar is going to sit there on everyone. But no, I understand. Then, no, ground is definitely yeah. ground is definitely um, a weakness, um, mm -hmm. init initially anyway, uh, into this. And Crook specifically having ground plus dark stab yes. is what makes yeah. it, I think, uh, scarier into this. So that's why we had this uh, EV yeah. spread. Shout out to Tony Flygon as well. You remember him, right? Right. Do you, do you remember uh, the bell? Yeah, the yeah, bell. yeah. You, you were around. You were around during that time. I was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you were. Yeah, yeah. But uh -huh. that's why I was like kicking myself as well because I was like, oh my god, I have taunt plus thunderbolt to deal with Bastion on, like, and I was like, ah, but <laughs> but I just felt overcool was better because I was like, I could toxic it worst case and then deal with it via scream tail even though I just said it had, it has self. <laughs> imagine if I imagine if I didn't Tara and then you couldn't toxic. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> or if I was Terra Poison, like whilst I was prepping for this game, I was like, Terra Poison would be actually kind of phenomenal for me. <laughs> it's not, it's not bad. Like I think they're all uh, maybe, maybe you feared like Metagross type thing because you can't Earthquake, mm -hmm. you can't like if I Earthquake into it as you Terra Poison, yeah. still does a good chunk type thing. I was really fearing the Resto Chesto at the end, but I'm like, ah, whatever. If she has it, I'd lose anyway. Or maybe I could stall it out with Scream Tail. That was my thing because I can go back and forth intimidate uh, back because yeah. Body yeah. Press is not doing anything to Scream Tail. And so yeah, I was you, like, you oh. played around it really well. Uh, but, Apart from, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, but it's fine, don't yeah, worry. Yeah, it, yeah. Fine. But I was also thinking that water makes a lot of sense too because Surging Strikes is, this guy does not die to like plus two or even plus four body press in, in some cases. Well, in some. <laughs> like, so, like, Surging Strikes is like so strong. So, water makes a lot of sense, I felt. I was scared yeah. if you had a grasp. I was like, no, that's Macargo Gary. Like, we're <laughs> okay into that. <laughs> I'm kind of. It, it makes me wonder, like, how different the game would have been if I did bring Makago, because like I would have had like a kind of secondary answer to to the Metagross. But then I, you would have knocked me off. Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. So it's just like, you know. The way I beat Makago was I always knocked it with Thunderous and just taunted and Thunderbolted because he's a little weak uh, when yeah. when not boosted. Like if if you're gonna run more defensive to deal with Shifu, um, then it has to be a little bit weaker in that case. But it, it was like, I just brought some of my bulkier Pokemon. I was like, I can tank a lot of the hits. I really, 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 and I'm looking at the six you bring and I'm like, yo, this could have just won. 
really wanted to bring Shell Smash Poltergeist here. I really did. But yeah. I was like, okay, Mimic you, got Shadow Sneak and potential red card. Mm -hmm. And obviously mm -hmm. the bigger one is Meloetta exists on her team. And then <laughs> like I have Dark Pulse for it, but I need a lot of chip to do it. And I know I can do it with spikes, but what if she does some copycat mirror herb stuff? Cause I, I was actually expecting like some sort of mirror herb set on potentially mm -hmm. Mellow if you want to bring it. So I was like, yeah. I can't do this. And if she's Psy Shock, I die. I was also looking at Specs as a lead because Ooh. Shadow Ball is very good into your team. See, I had I had a very similar uh, thing with Dragonite. I was like, I'm gonna lead with Specs Hurricane. Um, and then Christ. I saw yeah. Metagross and I got incredibly depressed. So I changed it. Fair, <laughs> but, fair, literally fair. But like when I I saw Pylo and I saw Overclaw, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave Bal and click a button. And then I just didn't click a fucking button. Like if I clicked close combat and I don't know. Maybe Moonblast would have killed you. Yeah. But I like, especially with the Black Sludge. I was like, wait, you're. Not oh, you uh, you cut out again for a second. Ellie, no. Um, oh yeah, you, you you cut out for a second. Oh okay. Like clicking buttons with Val was my entire game plan, and then I just didn't do it. <laughs> so it, it, I, I, it. To be fair, it was a little harder to bring it in on. Like you can't bring it in on Quill. You can't bring in on yeah. Thunderous and Metagross. Like, yeah. you can't bring in on these. There's only one Mon you can bring in. Maybe two. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, no, it's just Pilus One. And Pilus One <laughs> would do like 40% with Earthquake, so. Like, the way you were playing your Ashifu, I was like, I fucking know this is Choice Scarf, man. Oh, like, we're coming I, in the end, yeah. Yeah, I was just like, I, I know it's going to be Choice Scarf. But, hey, hey, it is what it is. But oh. I'm happy with. The the, team the, yeah, I, no, I like the team. The game was fun too. I'm happy you didn't bring yeah. Rotom. It's Rotom's why I had Toxic Protect yeah. on Overcool because I, the Rotom game plan is Toxic Protect. I love two defensive hydros and then Wish Pass with this guy into Quill, which comes in on all the mons yeah. that scream, come in on Screamtail. Overcool can come in on, get off and intimidate, mm -hmm. and then and do damage from there. So it was kind of, I was just I was grateful that I didn't have to see that. Even though CC just raw two it kills, which is so stupid. Yeah, it is. I I wanted Rotom, but it's just like, oh, what do I have it over? And it's just like, I like Dragonite. If I can get Dragonite going, it just wins. But then you're smart. You probably won't, you know, if, if you see that I'm not boots, you're going to know, you know, I'm weakness policy or something. Yeah, or so I was thinking Yachi at the end, too. It's like, don't be Yachi. Don't be Yachi. Mm -hmm. you, you just run boots defensive. Don't be Yachi. If anything, <laughs> let me just ice spinner. Because even if I lost um, or she at that point, I, I was still... Like okay, I think that Metagross, as long as Metagross lives like a CC, I don't, I don't know the calc because I'm impish, but you are Life Orb. That's a strong move. So I was like, yeah. ah. but at the end of the day, that would come down to like prep before the game. So and uh -huh. you can't change it after. Like even if I want to use certain other sets uh -huh. here, like so that would have been something from there. But I, uh, are you two two now? Yeah, I'm two and two. Oh. But all things considered, not too bad. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm happy with that. Oh, so. And you got a lot of uh, strong games out of the way too, in my opinion. Yeah. The so. thing, so I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 go ahead, please. The thing that I'm most nervous about is my week nine, the gatekeep for playoffs is Mounte. Yeah, I play him next week. I, am, I uh... have never beaten him, ever. <laughs> so it's going to be a rough one. But it also means he's never lost to you, which means he has more to lose. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to, to look at it. Yeah. It's a big upset. Right. That's the way I that's the way I see it. Whenever I fight Uzi, like mm -hmm. I have more to lose here than he, that, but then he has a lot to gain. But I have a lot to lose. My streak. But uh, yeah, that he and he made a bunch of changes to his team as well, which are very annoying. But <laughs> uh, honestly, I think you've been doing like watching. You know how you've improved over the seasons I've played with you, and then uh, I know you do a lot of mocks and you do a lot of testing, and it's been fun. Um, definitely mm -hmm. like definitely getting stronger and stronger as a player so i'm excited to see and plus i think you're hilarious to watch so <laughs> thank you and you just hit 3000 right or you're, you're uh, about, i am about like to. i'm as, as this game will go up i will be at 3k nice at the time of recording week three hasn't gone up yet um it goes up tomorrow and i'm eight subs away from 3k nice nice Actually. so yeah go ahead and sub there too like i said thank watch you. your side i uh <laughs> I did a little screen when Ambassador came out. I was like, mmm, like that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
Uh, I popped the fuck off for Bastiodon, and then he was like, don't be, I was like, don't be toxic, Overclaw, don't be toxic. I don't know, you fucking I was like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, no, I'm happy that my Bastiodon set worked, kind of, not really, I don't know. No, it did work. It, it made me, I had no idea if I was winning this game at any point in this game. It felt like the last time. <laughs> it, it, I don't think it was as close as the last time we played, but it felt like the last time we played. Where yeah, I have no I, idea yeah. if I was uh -huh. winning or not at the end. I was like, oh, I don't know. Like the second Jolteon died, I would like relax a little. I was like, oh, okay, this should be. There's no one Val set that wins right here, even if she's Babiri Berry, because at worst, I Ice Spinner, Bullet Punch, and then I just Toxic with Quill after living a hit type of thing. Yeah. But yeah. Oh. yeah. It was, yeah, it, it, was, was it was definitely close. Yeah, yeah, it was a good game. You got anything you want to tell the people before uh, before we sign off? No, I just I just wanted to ask: Did you have fun? And like, yeah. was there something that you would have done differently? Like, you would have brought the olive or whatever. Um, I definitely would have brought the olive, but I just couldn't see. I didn't have a lot of time this week, and yeah. this felt good enough in a sense mm -hmm. that I, I did lose mocks. Uh, Quite a few actually i didn't play too many but i did lose like half of them and i was like okay but like i lost because i didn't play this part well or i lost because i let them knock off this pokemon when i should have let them and i actually did the exact same thing that i did in a mock that lost it uh or i let them like kill thunderous early when i shouldn't have or i should have just went scream tail and tank the knock and then go from there but i was like so confident that scream in the end game could be very annoying uh that i didn't want to do that but i regret not doing that Sort of thing. So that's yeah. definitely what I would have done differently. I would have kept Thunderous alive mm -hmm. just so I can bring it in on this and just click T bolt, especially with you being quick feet, which is a sick tech, by the way. Did we did we say that on the video? I don't I know you said that before. Uh, I don't think you said it on the video. You should tell him like what the idea was. So the idea was um he was gonna be Scarf as she feels, so I was like I don't really want to lock myself in with Jolty on the scene. Well, I'll just bring quick feet, because I know he's bringing hazards on his fucking overquill. Yeah. Um Turns out he brought hazards, but not the right ones. He didn't bring toxic spikes. You selfish piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, quick feet was there. Also, what? it meant that you couldn't block. I couldn't block Volt Switch, so like you would then have to switch something into yeah, 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 yeah. Jolteon. Yeah, so. makes sense. Makes sense. But, uh, yeah, that was cool. That was really. Cool. And you were modest. Okay, yeah, you were modest. Yeah, and I was nobody, like, I didn't really need to outspeed anything. Nobody respects Cyclozar. All you. Wait, no, 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 The set I was going to bring would have went stupid here. Was it shift gear? It was loaded dice, just scale shot, iron head, uh, U-turn, and rabbit spin. So just attack with it, scale shot every single time, iron head once, late game, and then U-turn around and get the chip. I'm so okay. mad nobody respects this mon. I mean, why, why didn't you bring it, huh? I told you, I didn't should've have a lot of time. I, time. I, just, I just wanted what I thought could be unbreakable. <laughs> Like that's what I wanted. I mean, hey, it, it worked. It uh, not really. Okay. It was. It was. It was a, I probably should have had Encore on Screamtail, even though you had the the herb, which, yeah. was, which I kind of had to bank on, like at that point, yeah. as well. But good I thing I wasn't rest the chest there, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm very happy you weren't. That would have been a, a, an auto loss right there. But yeah. Overall, very fun game. I uh, thank you, Ellie, for your time. As always, always a great uh, game, guys. Please go sub to her. Uh, leave a like, more draft games every Sunday. And uh, yeah, check out her site as well if you haven't. So thank you everybody for watching. Peace. Peace.